The 2025 pay raise isn't looking so good. The president has proposed a 2% pay raise next year, and that's probably what we'll end up getting. This is a huge difference than the last two years of pay raises. The last two years equaled about 10%, and it was for good reason. Number one, inflation was out of control. In 2022, the inflation rate was 8%, and in 2023, it was around 3.5%. So if you take inflation into account, we had an overall decrease in buying power. Now, the average inflation that we normally see in this country is about 3%. The Fed, the Federal Reserve, would like it to be around 2 2.5%. They do want inflation. They do see inflation as a good thing because it's an incentive for people and businesses to spend their money. Okay, the second reason is there's a growing gap between the private sector and the public sector. This has been studied and discussed a lot over the years, and some people put this gap at 27%. Here's a recent statement from the Federal Salary Council. Federal workers earned more than 27% less than private sector counterparts, a growing disparity that will only force more of the best and brightest out of federal service. And when you look at specific federal government jobs, such as attorney, cybersecurity, IT specialists, medical professionals, the private sector will reward them with higher salaries, bonuses, and even stock equity. So how are we justifying a smaller pay raise that will not keep up with the rate of inflation? Well, the White House says it's due to fiscal constraints. This is a pretty big shock to a lot of people because not too long ago, we saw a congressional proposal to give government workers an over 7% pay raise. This pay raise proposal also removes the lockstep that the military and the federal employees were under. So there are some Democratic congressional leaders that wanted it to be the same for military and federal employees. And that was happening for a short period of time. But in 2025, we're seeing military receiving a 4.5% pay raise compared to the federal employees, which will only receive 2%. Now, there's a lot of people that feel all of these pay raises, they should just be aligned when it comes to Social Security, when it comes to retirees, when it comes to military or federal employees. But that's not currently how it's being done. Also, with the 2% proposal, we don't know exactly what part of that percent is going to be towards locality pay. Will there even be a part towards locality pay? In the past, you would see uh, 4% or 5%, but then they would specify that half of that percent was to higher cost living areas. So could it be a 1.5% base raise and then locality might be a half a percent? That hasn't come out yet. But interestingly enough, when mentioning fiscal constraints, the 2025 budget request is higher than the 2024. The 2024 budget is at 1.66 trillion and the 2025 budget is at 1.67 trillion. So we will in fact be spending more money as a country but apparently there's no room in there for a higher pay raise. As you can imagine, the unions were surprised, a lot of federal employees were surprised, Congress is surprised. This is an election year, a presidential election is occurring at the end of the year, so everything should be done from a strategic mindset, right? A political strategic mindset. Is this the best thing in order to improve your chances? And there must have been some consultant or some strategist that was recommending to the president and his staff, this is the way that we should go. This is the safe way to go. Give a military over double the pay raise and then go ahead and come in at 2% for the federal employees. I don't know why, it doesn't make a lot of sense to me, but this is the way they're heading. I think most people would have been able to digest and they would have accepted and understood a 3%, a 3.5%, at least at a bare minimum, try to make it match inflation. But with a number like this, it's not matching inflation. It doesn't even feel like a pay raise. You can call it a pay raise on the surface and the headlines can say pay raise, but in all actuality, it will be a decrease to your buying power. All right, so let's take a look at how this could impact your wallet. 
And we're gonna assume that this 2% is just flat across the board. Let's look at DC, say you're a GS-12. Instead of a pay range of $99,000 to $128,000 a year, the new pay range would be $101,000 to $131,000 a year. Now let's say you are a GS-15 in DC. Instead of a pay range of $163,000 to $191,000, the new range would be $167,000 to $195,000 a year. So at least the overall pay cap for GS-15s, that would increase. Another thing that's pretty interesting that you should keep your eye on is the best places to work survey. It's coming out either this month, next month. In that survey, they ask federal employees about their feedback, a lot of different issues. One of those issues is pay. Last year, the rankings for pay was pretty low. Most of it was around 60, mid 60s for most agencies. For next year, I could see this number even going lower, mid 50s, even upper 40s, as people express their discontentment with taking an overall decrease with their buying power. Now, the, this president proposal, it's gonna be hotly debated in Congress next year. We'll probably will not know the official pay raise until December. So the way it's worked the last few years is the president, either the second or the third week in December, he issues out an executive order that will have the pay raise and it should come into effect the first pay period in January. Will this change for 2026? Who will the president even be? Will the president have an impact on the federal government jobs? Yes, to a certain degree, the president always has an impact, but will it be a Republican or a Democrat? If it's a Republican, I would say, looking at past history, DOD will probably receive a boost. DHS, the VA, they will probably receive a boost. If it is a Democratic president, I would say DOE, EPA, DOJ, those agencies will probably receive a boost. We're going to have to wait and see. But I don't think anything dramatic will occur. I know a lot of people express concern when they look at the Republican ticket, imagining that Vivek might be on the Republican ticket. Regardless on who's on the Republican ticket, I would tell you that I do not see a drastic action such as reducing the government force by 50%. I think that's rhetoric. I think that's being political. I do not think that's a logical response that any politician would take in this current climate that we're in in this country. I really don't think so. And as I always say, if this pay raise, this 2%, if it's not enough, and it's not enough for most of us, then I would suggest to look at the next GS grade. So if you're a GS 12 right now, rolling your eyes saying this is BS, that's fine. Why are you not a GS 13 right now? Do a self-assessment, look at the opportunities out there, start creating your plan, improving your resume in order to make the jump to GS 13. Doesn't have to be in your agency. Don't stay committed to the Department of Agriculture or whatever department that you're currently at. Look at different agencies. There's over 400 of them. A lot of times people don't even consider the smaller agencies. Give those a chance. Look to see what is it going to take for you to make that jump to the next GS grade. And if you're already maxed out on pay, I would look at other pay bands because GS is not the only one. There's pay bands out there that pay over 200K looking at the FAA, looking at the FDIC, looking at the Security Exchange Commission. So keep that on your radar as well. If you are interested in federal government jobs and you have questions about the federal hiring process, about usajobs.gov, about different government jobs, I did a live stream recently, I answered over a dozen questions. A lot of these questions could be on your mind. If you're interested in that, then I want you to watch this video next. If you would like to see more videos like this, please click like and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one.